WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Mary Ellen Pan. And we'll have a series of systems moving west of the state, but bringing us the chance for rain. Uh, a lot of that moisture coming in from the Pacific and then moving into the Gulf and then coming up to the northeast. Uh, right now, all is quiet. We've got mostly cloudy skies as we check out our Lancaster Skycam. Did have a little bit of sun earlier, but uh, that <laughs> has been uh, diminished just because of the cloud cover. And all morning, we've been watching the sleet and freezing rain to our north right along I-80. Uh, a lot of that is lifting and improving conditions are taking place across Google County and Northumberland County where there is still a with, uh, winter weather advisory. It says till five o'clock, but I've read that the National Weather Service is going to probably cancel that, especially since most of this precipitation has lifted out of the area. The rest of the region, though, has been quiet. Your News 8 storm team forecast calls for mostly cloudy skies. There could be an isolated stray shower this afternoon into the evening hours. Otherwise, it's dry, milder with temperatures in the low 40s. It's been over nine days since we've seen temperatures uh, in the 40s. Overnight tonight, cloudy skies. There could be some scattered showers around. Temperatures not moving a whole lot in the low to mid 30s. And tomorrow, cloudy skies. Better chance for rain developing as we head further into the afternoon and evening hours tomorrow. And again, we're in the low 40s for highs. Right now we have 40 in Carlisle, 45 in Gettysburg, 35 in Lancaster, 38 in Lebanon. And you can see Sealands Grove well above freezing at 35 degrees. And as we take a look at what's happening outside, we had high pressure that has been in control of our weather has pushed off the coast. So the two systems we're watching will be coming up from the southwest down from the Gulf Coast region and lifting up to our west, but giving us the chance for showers, especially as we get into tomorrow and into Thursday. Uh, this evening's chance is a very isolated to low chance. We take a look at predictor here. We're still looking good as we go through the evening hours. Most of the moisture is to our north and then overnight tonight you start to see some scattered showers around could linger into the early morning hours. Then we get a little bit of a break and then in the afternoon and the evening we see a a better chance for some wet weather to move in and then it stays with us with these rounds of light to moderate rain continuing into Thursday and as of this time it doesn't look like there's much of a flood threat it does remain on the low side and we do look to pick up a half an inch to an inch by the time we are done with the rain Friday morning so we'll keep you posted though if that should change here's your 10 day forecast we're up near 50 on Thursday despite the rain likely throughout the day it's even milder on Friday once that rain ends in the morning. The rest of the day is mostly cloudy, but very mild in the mid to upper 50s. We're still at 50 degrees on Saturday. Our next storm system comes in Saturday night into Sunday with the chance for rain. And then you can see temperatures trending cooler briefly, but they head back up into the mid 40s by next week.